You're watching the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday and our final from Papa John's Cardinal Stadium here in Derby City, Louisville 30 and NC State 18. With James Bates, West Durham, we weren't quite sure what we were going to see here. NC State had lost three straight. Louisville coming off a disappointing loss last Saturday at Clemson. Tell you what we got was a good bit of offensive momentum early, and that was a surprise. Yeah, absolutely. You know, in, in both sides, in NC State, on their behalf, you mentioned those losses and the loss of seven, eight guys that they left the BB gun incident everybody knows about by now. So, opening drive for Louisville, they take it down and punch it in. The blitz didn't get there that time. It did so many times, and a little bit of help from Louisville on special teams. It was an adventure. Not a good one last week at Clemson. Special teams cost them. It cost them right here, but for the most part, it was a Louisville team that cleaned up in the special teams category. State boinks the extra point after Brissett hit Greenwich for the score. So it's a 7-6 game. Then we go to the second quarter, and here's what we came to see, the Cardinal defensive pressure. Yeah, that's right. Bend their ears back and go. Number one in the country coming in against the run, and they didn't disappoint. Number one in, in total defense. And you know what? They didn't get force any turnovers until the very last play of the game, though. Here's the special teams coming into play. And believe it or not, they get nothing out of this great big return to start. And Lorenzo Malden was just dynamite again. But unfortunately, he left the game with a leg injury. So hopefully he will be OK. James Quick as well on the offensive side. How about this play? You get an injury where well, you get a fumble. Arius Moore scoops it up. It's ruled, though, that Gardner's arm was down before the ball was jarred loose by L.J. Scott. So a 74-yard fumble return for a touchdown nullified. We get to the fourth quarter. NC State's got a golden chance here. Second down and one from the two. They go backwards. End up getting just a field goal out of it. Late, they get a touchdown, though, to Greenwich. The Wolfpack needs an onside kick. They don't get that. And then the two-point try after the Greenwich touchdown, Naquan Brown stripped of it. Jacoby Brissett knows it. Then the onside kick fails, and Michael Dyer caps this game late. A marvelous performance, his best in a Louisville jersey. Well, first start here for Louisville. He had a deep thigh bruise. You know, Devontae Parker had his coming out party. The guy who led this team in touchdown receptions, freshman, sophomore, junior yep. years. No, everybody knows he could be one of the most explosive players in the country, especially with Bobby Petrino pulling the trigger, pushing the buttons there. He came back, had a big night, but I think Dyer West was the difference. The other senior. Cards win by a dozen. You're watching the ACC Digital Network. Presented by Ruby Tuesday. We are the official home of ACC football. For must-see moments, click the box on the left. For game highlights, click the box on the right. And for everything else from the ACC Digital Network, subscribe now. Do it!